Hey guys, this is just a quick uh, review of the Dell 5680. I bought this for streaming and gaming and it's been up to the task really with everything I needed to do, including making YouTube videos, uh, live streaming through Twitch, using OBS or Streamlabs and also playing games including Sea of Thieves, Fortnite, all those type of high, high res, high demanding games and it's just works as a charm and the other thing was um this is really good value for money and it's upgradable which i haven't got round to uh, i've recently upgraded to an imac but i'll uh you can see the unboxing video if you like so basically this comes this is an i5 uh, 8400 processor um, and it comes with a 1060 GeForce GTX, 3 gigabyte of GDR5 memory. It also came with 8 gigabyte of DDR4, 2400 megahertz RAM, which I upgraded to 16 gigabytes um, from Crucial. You can put a link to that if you need to. Now on some of the types of RAM, I'll put links in the description to that. It comes with a one terabyte uh, hard disk drive, which is a bit slow in these days and ages, but it keeps the price down. And the main drive is a 128 gigabyte M2 SATA SSD. Um, and it has the OS on and all your apps and things. And you can use Windows to Separate out, separate out your documents, you know, your large photo files, etc. You can get it to install by default certain programs and install your documents, your OneDrive, all that kind of malarkey on the slower one terabyte drive because that's not as essential. Um, and keep all your programs that you want snappy on the SSD and it, it does boot fast. I mean, I will demo this in a second. And that's it really. So in this video, I was just going to review it and just give me my opinion on it. I think it's a great bit of kit. This next thing I was going to do, I've actually put a bit of research into how to upgrade this device, this uh, computer. So I found it now. Basically, this is, I've got an eighth generation CPU inside, an i5-8400. And I've done a lot of research and the motherboard itself supports 9th gen CPUs so you can actually upgrade the CPU. This, one, this computer is a i5-8400 8th generation processor that uses the socket FCLGA1151 and now this does support the 9th generation processors um, and I've brought this up, an i7-9700 processor, um, which is a good upgrade for four, up to 4.7 gigahertz. Uh, it uses the same, the same socket. So you can upgrade that, which is a big upgrade. Further to that, you can add in decent amount of RAM, I think, uh, I think it's advised that you can upgrade to 64 gigabyte. This could be, there could be areas or you could potentially put more in, but I wouldn't say, I wouldn't want to confirm that. So that's what I do. I'll put a link to the memory that you need and the processor that I was on about. But also, the other thing you can upgrade is the M2 SATA, so you could get a big, uh, bigger hard drive in it, or you can upgrade the the mechanical drive to a full SSD. Uh, granted, it won't be as quick as the M2, but it'd be good for storage. And if you want to access your photos and files quicker, then uh, that will help. So this is great upgradability. Um, saves you having to buy a new pro or a new computer altogether. You could just buy a new processor. 
um, yeah. So, it's support 4K. Um, it's a great piece, it's a great little uh, computer. I thought I'd like to just demo as well at the end of this how to upgrade the RAM and also just show you the inside of the computer. Please remember to unplug your computer before you do any work on it, which I forgot recently and I'll show you the video to that. That was quite funny. Well, not for me. I was upgrading an iMac and you just want to click in the description or just on that card there. Okay, so let me just show you how to upgrade the RAM. So first of all, you need to unscrew these two. And that'll help you get the case off. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so now that's done, you just want to pull on this. Boom. That slides up, slides out, and away you go. So actually, I've just remembered, I told a little parky earlier, I think I only put one extra eight gigabyte hit memory in. So here you can see the graphics card, FTP piece. Um, you get your power supply, you want to buy a hard drive, I presume the SSD bit is on the board itself somewhere. That's the disk drive. So usually you have a little stick, an M2 stick, and it's on the board somewhere. Ah, there it is here, just here underneath the graphics card. So you'd have to take all this out to get to you. But uh, luckily, it's quite an easy piece of kit to upgrade and move about. I mean, if you want to upgrade your CPU, it's just there. Um, so here, this is how you, this is the crucial memory I put in. Oh, you just want to get the two white slots and uh, push them down. You want to make sure they match. So if this is in a white slot, you want to put the other, the other piece of memory that goes with it in that slot. So if these are two eights, put them there. You could have two fours here in the back, but you just gotta be matched. The ones that are matching aren't next to each other. They're in these colored, uh, you gotta make sure they're matching the colors. So, so here you go. You've got the longer side on the right. And as you can see on the left here, it's, I'll just turn it around so that doesn't help. So at the moment it's on the left hand side and you can see there, eight gigabyte DDR4 to 400. I think you can get slightly faster memory that will work in the system. I will uh, I will put some links into the description for that. The mouse faster RAM. So to put it in, you make sure you just line it up with the longer side over here. And make sure you go in the little slots there and just Push down. There we go. Nice and firm. And that's it. So I'm just going to put this case back on. And that's it. You've just upgraded your RAM or whatever you need to upgrade. It's very easy. It's not as complicated as an actual an apple or anything like that. So probably very complicated. Um, I hope this has helped some of you guys out. I mean, the upgradability of it's brilliant. And uh, yeah, I will update the description to have the latest uh, recommendations from what I know anyway. If this has helped you out, please like and subscribe and uh, please come back and check out some more of the videos that I'm doing. And uh, yeah, thanks guys, take it easy.